mentioned it, Abby mentioned it, Manette Batter, volatility. Volatility is here to stay. And what we're seeing is we're talking about volatility, but are we doing everything, anything about it? It seems like the NFU are paralyzed by inaction. You know, they are talking about their new um, manifesto going forward for the new government, but they failed to address the key element of price transparency and mandatory price reporting. We're putting all these new policies in place, but these policies take eight to 10 years to put into, into effect. Now, Manette has done a fantastic job in the NFU over the past few years, really t- taking it, giving a new lease of life, very, very highly regarded in what she's achieved for all farmers, not just dairy farmers. But I think we need to get a thorough injection of a bit of pace into what's happening on a policy level there. Um, the reality on the ground is three farmers a week are leaving the dairy sector. And then we have policy taking eight to 10 years to go through parliament and then markets moving in seconds and minutes. You know, we have lots of different prices all over the world. Uh, we could have gas prices go through the roof again if Putin decides to escalate more in Ukraine. The uh, the Gaza con- conflict, the Houthi conflict in, 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 the, in the Red Sea, you know, all those, oh, what's that going to do to the price of gas, price of oil, put costs? So the three Fs for the farmers, how is that going to affect them? And we really need an escalation in priori- prior- prioritizing this, the, 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 the level of volatility in the market and using the tools that are out there already to be able to mitigate against that.